Hey everybody, I'm Chloe. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Hit the subscribe button below. You know all that stuff if you watch other YouTubers. Um, today I have a lot to talk about. We're going to do two parts to this video because there was so much that happened during his time in office. So our 18th president was Ulysses S. Grant. He served from 1865 to 1877. For this part one, his vice president was Skylar Colfax. And here is a picture of Ulysses S. Grant, colored picture. So, March 4th, 1869, Ulysses S. Grant was inaugurated. He was a Civil War hero and Republican. May 10th, 1869, the Transcontinental Railroad was completed. It was the first Transcontinental Railroad, and it was completed at Promen Promontory Road in Utah. Uh, it was the work of the Union Pacific and the Central Pacific crews, and there was a golden spike driven in where the two railroads met or meet. I wonder if that's still there. That'd be interesting to see that. September 24th, 1869, <clears throat> excuse me, Black Friday financial panic. I've got, <coughs> excuse me, something in my throat. Took place in New York City. Results from two railroad entrepreneurs, Jay Gold and James Fish Jr., uh, to corner the gold market. Uh, they argue, they argue uh, claiming if the government won't sell val gold value increases and improves depressed farm prices. Uh, Grant orders $4 million in gold sold, in gold sale, and gold pot plot of is the first of several scandals in Grant's term in office. Uh, Jan or November 29th, 1869, annexation of Santo Domingo. Orville Babcock, a military aide and private secretary, signs the treaty to annex Santo Domingo of the West Indies. It was the second, se uh, and the second document, <coughs> excuse me, the second document was to lease Samana Bay. The Senate defeats the Annex Treaty on June 30th of 1870, and they never voted on the Samana Bay Treaty. January 2nd, 1870, the construction of, of the Brooklyn Bridge starts. It was, it, I think, is still the longest suspension bridge in the world, although, even though I've never been there, I still think the Golden Gate is longer than that, but I don't know. Completed, it, it was completed 13 years later. January 11th, 1870, Grant vetoes private relief bill. January 26th, 1870, Virginia, uh, Virginia was uh, readmitted after completing the reconstruction. So now they are back in the Union. February 9th, 1870, U.S. Weather Bureau was established, originally part of the Signal Corps. And yes, even though it's per spelled C-O-R-P-S, it's pronounced core, not corpse. February 23rd, 1870, Mississippi was re readmitted. March 30th of 1870, Texas was readmitted. Um, after the 15th Amendment, uh, or, I'm sorry, and then the 15th Amendment the same day, the 15th Amendment, which states, no state shall deprive any citizen the right to vote due to race, color, or a previous condition of service. Uh, May 24th, 1870, the Fennan Army of Vermont. Grant issues a proclamation against, uh, against attempts of the Fannin Brotherhood to damage Anglo-U.S. relations by attacking Canada. Now, if you remember, or if you haven't seen it, go back a uh, one or two presidents ago. The Fennan Brotherhood were Irish Americans that were trying to send a me message to Britain to free Ireland. Following, the following day, they're driven back. May 31st, 1870, the Voting Rights and KKK. Now, keep in mind, I am only delivering this information. I, I do not support the KKK. I do not support white supremacists. And I do not support segregation. Congress declares the federal, uh, federal crime... It, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Congress declares it a federal crime to deprive anyone the right to vote. The KKK was organized in 1866, 
100 years before I thought it, they were, in Pulaski, Tennessee, and they, hara um, they harassed and terrorized blacks to prevent them from voting. To pre, yeah, to prevent. Okay, June 22nd, 1870 was the creation of the Department of Justice. It was under the direction of, attorney Ge of the Attorney General. July 14th, 1870, a new tariff is passed, maintains most exciting or most existing pro protectionists feature features. Cannot talk and I cannot read. February 28th, 1871, <laughs> that comes with age. Um, federal election law calls for the federal supervision of elections in cities with more than 20,000 people. It was designed for fair treatment of black voters in the South. And that same day, the Indian Appropriation Act happened, which was an amendment uh, ending tribal recognition and the treaty system. All Indians are wards of the state. So we as Americans are not really that, that nice to people. Okay, so March 4th, 1871, the first Civil Service Commission, without Congress approval, it was rendered ineffective. April 20th, 1871, the KKK Act passed to enforce the 14th Amendment. It outlaws wearing disguises, forming conspiracies, and intimidating officials. Grant ensures fairness of the 1872 elections. May 8th, 1871, the Treaty of Washington. It was signed between U.S. and Britain, uh, initiating friendly relations between the two countries. Arbitration to settle Alabama claims from the Civil War, and it renews Canada-U.S. fishing arrangements. September 4, 1871, investing Boss Tweed's Tammany Hill. Citizens Commission formed in New York investigates the corruption, and the organization was associated with bribery and fraud. October 8th, 1871, the Great Chicago Fire. Now, it didn't have a lot to say about this, just that it was like one of the worst um, disasters in U.S. history. These are my thoughts from what I heard from a ghost tour that I took in Chicago back in 2011, I think. There was, there's much speculation about how it all started. It some people say it was Mrs. O'Leary's cow that kicked over the candle when she was when she was milking the cow. Some people say there was a drunk man at a party that stumbled into the barn and knocked over his candle and started the fire. And some say that it was lightning from a storm, a really bad storm that happened that night because on the other side of Lake Michigan, Michigan also had a fire from lightning strikes on the same night that the Chicago fire happened. So Nobody really knows what happened to start the fire, but it was a bad fire. And you Chicagoans will know. Uh, October 12, 1871, the KKK in South Carolina. There was a proclamation against the Ku Klux Klan in South Carolina by Grant. March 10, 1872, Interoceanic Canal Commission. So Grant appoints a special commission to talk about, about a canal joining the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, and it was determined that it should be through Nicaragua. So we're talking about the Panama Canal, I believe. April 15, 1872, a private pensions bill was vetoed. It was the first, he, it, he was the first president to veto the bill, and he vetoes five such bills while he's in office. Okay. June 5th, 1872, the Republican National Com Convention nominates Grant for re-election with Senator Henry Wilson as the vice president. July 9th, 1872, the Democratic National Com Convention nominates Horace Greeley, who, if any of you have watched uh, the movie or the play of Newsies, that name should sound familiar to you. He was a New York Tribune editor and Missouri Governor Benjamin Gratz Brown was voted VP, or nominated VP. September 14, 1872, a report from the panel Treaty of Washington. 
Panel discusses indirect claims first proposed by irate Senator Charles Sumner. He's in our history a lot, too. Secretary of State Hamilton Fit, Fit, uh, Fish. I think it's Fish. I can't read my own writing. Hamilton Fish expected the rejection. The panel requires Britain to pay the U.S. $15.5 million in gold, and they made the payment within one year with no protesting. November 5, 1872, Grant was reelected. He had 55.6% of the vote. Electoral votes were 214 to 80. February 12, 1873, was the crime of, of 73. Coinage Act was passed by Congress. It omits silver currency due to scarcity, but Nevada mines more silver and demands more coinage. February 27, 1873, credit mobile, mobile, liar, mobile liar scandal. The House resolves cens cens censures of Oaks Ames of Massachusetts and James Brooks of, Nor of New York for connections to the scandal. Also on that day, Congress pays itself raises the senior government salaries and provides two years of back pay for members of Congress. Don't you wish you could do that with your job? Uh, it was also known as the back pay grab or the salary grab bill. So tomorrow we will continue talking about Ulysses S. Grant in his second term of office because a lot freaking happened during his time. Um, of course, things are starting to move forward. Things are getting better for the country, even though, you know, the KKK is not a great uh, organization, in my opinion. Um, I think, you know, I don't remember who said it, but all men shall be created equal. Uh, Schuyler Systems, sisters work. Uh, Schuyler Systems, <laughs> Schuyler Sisters. Uh, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal <laughs> work. Um, okay, another Hamilton uh, reference. So come back tomorrow to learn about Ulysses S. Grant's second term of office with a new vice president. And a lot happened there, too. Um, I've got about four pages of that as well. So i got eight pages to all together for Ulysses S. Grant. So um, come back tomorrow to learn more about Ulysses S. Grant and you guys have a sunny day. Class is dismissed.